Now, Iran's foreign ministry spokesperson has denied Tehran was involved in the attack on Salman Rushdie, adding the author and his supporters deserve blame. The statement comes a day after Rushdie's son said his father was off the ventilator and had a feisty and defiant sense of humor despite sustaining life-changing injuries. An initial law enforcement review of the suspect's social media has shown that he was sympathetic to Iran's revolutionary guards, but for now there is no motivation behind the attack. For more on this story, we can go across to France 24's Reza Sayer standing by in Tehran. Reza, what's the latest uh, where you are? Well, soon after uh, the stabbing happened late last week, there was a lot of people asking, when is the government of Iran going to react? Are they going to make a statement? Finally, they made a statement today. The spokesperson uh, representing Iran's foreign minister flatly denied that Tehran uh, was involved in the stabbing of author Salman Rushdie, and he warned against anyone blaming uh, Iran for this attack. He went on to say if there's going to be any blame, if there's going to be any condemnation, it should be directed at Salman Rushdie himself and his supporters. Of course, uh, Rushdie is forever going to be uh, linked to Iran because of the fatwa issued by the late Imam Khomeini, uh, Iran's, the leader of Iran's Islamic Revolution. Uh, it was Rushdie's book published in the 1980s, sat the Satanic Verses. Uh, that some here in Iran, including Imam Khomeini, uh, viewed as blasphemous the way uh, the Prophet Muhammad it was depicted as blasphemous. And it was soon after that book was published that Imam uh, Khomeini issued the fatwa uh, against uh, Salman uh, Rushdie. Uh, and, and that's why when this uh, incident happened, and there was a lot of questions. Was Iran uh, linked? Uh, would they make any statements more than uh, two days uh, after, after the incident? Again, Iran's foreign ministry denying that Tehran uh, had any involvement. There's very little known about the alleged attacker, the Hadi Matar, who has pleaded not guilty to the attack. He is not Iranian. He was born in the U.S. state of New York to parents who immigrated uh, from Lebanon, according to early reports, investigators say some of his social media accounts suggested that he sympathized with uh, Iran's Revolutionary Guard. Uh, but again, the government of Iran, for the first time, making a statement denying that Tehran was uh, involved in that attack. Reza, thank you very much for that. Reza Sarah reporting there for us from Tehran.